It's going to be replaced at the other end of the ground at the plough end. So we get underway. Charlie Kendall gets us off, and he'll be looking for more goals to add to his 16 that he's got already, and considering what they've had in the past. But here's a break from Eastbourne. They're on the edge of the box. A shot comes in, and it's Charlie Kendall. He's not going to get his 17th goal of the season. <laughs> But uh, Eastbourne pressing now down the right-hand side in the shadows of the main stand as the ball is played out into the centre circle where the sun still shines. But this is a good ball out to the left-hand side of the box. It's a shot coming across, and it was Chris Welpdale. Ball being cut in from the right-hand side by Rollinson. It's out to the far side. The players are flooding into the absolute box. This is dangerous. Far post. Oh, and the ball came across. Charlie Walker was homing in on it. Caraman in the sunshine. Well, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but uh, maybe it was to catch the goalkeeper off his line, but it was uh, well read by Manderson. Uh, Rawlinson got in the way of that particular move, and surely that was an offside against uh, Kendall, but the referee's assistant was miles behind play. This is dangerous for Ebsley. Shot coming in. It was Charlie Walker who delivered it. And guessing to Tanner. Tanner out to this left wing where Ashley Nathaniel George takes up the challenge he gets away from his marker goes round the back squares into the box oh and that was that was close he's down near the corner flag danger for the fleet here's Kendall Kendall strides meaningfully forward the ball into the fleet area and the goalkeeper goes down at the near post and Lou Morden well, he saves the fleet's blushes because they got into a bit of a pickle there. Now John Batty. A return. And this is Nathaniel George. Tanner bought down on the edge of the box. Well, well, Solly is now over at two. The fleet think, captain is just coming over for some advice. I think so. I think Solly's final words were, don't miss it. Put it in the net. Sun. So, Tanner, his head's in the sun, his boots are in the shade, and his boots, left-footed, it's a goal! Craig Tanner, it was as easy as you like, it was slow motion, and Craig Tanner, with 42 minutes on the clock, makes the breakthrough. Craig Tanner makes it absolute one, Eastbourne nil. What an absolute beauty that was, here, Fleet right in the air, the dying seconds, Chaz. Yeah, the ball's come across, it's going to be defended well by Eastbourne, which uh, they've done for most of the Fleet attacks this afternoon. There is the half-time whistle. They're going to go in with the scoreline, Ebsleet 1, Eastbourne Borough nil. But it was Craig Tanner's little piece of magic on 42 minutes. It was his sixth goal of the season for Eastbourne Borough. It's Connor Manderson in goal. And uh, Jack Curry, Luke Nippard, Mitchell Dickinson, Joel Rollinson, James Hammond, Greg Lure, Charlie Walker, Chris Welpdale, Trent Mahon and Charlie Kendall. So, uh, yeah, and a way win there would do uh, Ebsleet's... Uh chance no harm of making the playoffs of course although they go to Bath City next week yeah. and they wouldn't want them to be too <laughs> buoyant this afternoon they can be inconsistent then added by rolling back to Tanner in the final third Tanner oh and then taken by Coulthurst Coulthurst drives the ball in it's cleared away by Dickinson but added by rolling looking for a run from Coulthurst and the former Tottenham and Barnet man does make the run but can't get the ball back to added by rolling and added by Rowling, involved in, uh, in a clash that uh, Walker decides is worth complaining to the referee about. And now the complexion of the game could change again. Absolutely. Injury to Toby. This does not look good either, does it? He's been helped off. He can't put any, any weight at all on his, uh, his left foot there. And he's being uh, helped off the field right now. Unbelievable play, but then he can't make his pass count to get it out to Tanner but Tanner's on the edge of the box now Tanner left foot he's teasing he loses possession Hammond takes it off his toes and away to work uh, himself into space to start that move one of the hardest things to do on a football pitch Welps Welpdale takes a shot it's uh, beaten down by the fleet defence and here comes Tanner he's got Polly on to his left in the sunshine Polly cuts in there he goes he's on the left hand side of the area he's going to have a go 
Oh, and it takes one bounce and away. That's for sure, very different animal. Sully with the sun in his eyes, shields his face as he takes this on the far side. Near post, header! Oh, it's going to run away. The referee's decided it's another corner. It was a defensive header because he's coming out of the out of the shadows. And here he is, it's a short one. Oh, and it's beaten away by the Eastbourne defence, but Tanner does well to come back and gather the ball. Can he release Solly? Oh, and there's a, there's a bit of confusion there. Courthurst eventually salvages the ball. Oh, Courthurst, nice. lovely interplay with Nathaniel Walker. There's Tanner. Tanner, one, two. Tanner! Oh, blocked by Mahon. And Ebsley turning up the heat. And Sefa Caraman judged to have fouled as he challenged for the ball. Curry, forward to Weltdale. Welpdale still got it in him in his uh, mid-30s now. Ball out to the left-hand side to Lure, another player in the senior stage of his career. Oh, to Fleet scrambled the ball away after it was uh, mishandled, I would say, by Louis Morden. It was played into the six-yard area and the bodies were coming in. Tanner goes long. Headed once to the back of the box. There's Polyon. Polyon fighting hard to keep possession. Shoots! Polyon is blocked and he's going to go out for another corner. And Polyon certainly getting in the mix. Eastbourne looking for an opening. Hammond. Oh, and it was tipped over by Louis Malden and the uh, young Wolverhampton Wanderers goalkeeper. Had to react quite well. So we've got a corner from the old wooden stand side of the ground at the Swanscombe end. Two arms raised by Eastbourne's corner taker, and it goes long, it's headed down, and Ebsleet have got to be very careful they don't allow a shot to come in from Mahan. And fantastic play by Jack Paxman. Great energy to run the ball out. Ball. And here's that man Chapman, one of the centre-backs, up to Polyon. Polyon with one man ahead of him. That man's Nippard, Polyon, edge of the box, Polyon, oh, and he takes his shot just wide of the right-hand post. What a superb move that was, Charles, from Paxman winning the ball, turning on it, uh, putting a through ball to Chapman, he indeed turned his man on halfway and then placed the ball through uh, for Polyon, he still had a lot to do, didn't he, to get the shot off, but did, and only just wide of the right-hand post. So uh, let's see what happens from this. Here comes Hammond, right-footed. Oh, it's a good one. It was over the top. It wasn't too far away. And uh, that dipped just a little bit too late. But Goodness me, that could be a big goal for Gillingham, by the way. They've just scored at Lincoln. Lincoln nil, Gillingham one. Wow. They don't score many. Well, the time is about. running out for the Jewels, unfortunately. Yeah, but a win at Lincoln gives them, uh, gives them hope. It's a run through the middle. And uh, it was a beautiful run by oh, nicely done. Kendall. So he was snuffed out. And... This is a tussle on the halfway line involving that man, Courthurst. Courthurst! Oh! oh! A shot from 20 yards out, took one bounce. I thought this could be fantastic. Once again, showing what strength and depth there is in, uh, in non-league football. And this level of man's football, they're going to learn a lot more than they would playing in uh, what is effect youth football. Big boot downfield from Dickinson. But it only goes as far as Welpdale. Welpdale, we got that tr shot again, and this time it was a great save by Louis Morden to tip that away from Welpdale, the former Gillingham man, just as Matt said, he's got that shot in him. Back with uh, Louis Morden now, the ball in his arms. Was it to John Batty? And uh, Matt's attention being split between the pitch and uh, all the action happening off the field, around the grounds, and... Uh, involving Kent clubs because it's a busy busy day of action that's for sure oh Mahan he lets Pollyon in Pollyon's in the box he's got the goalkeeper to beat Pollyon <laughs> Dominic Pollyon gets his 13th goal of the season to make it 2-0 to Ebsfleet Ebsfleet eight minutes remaining 2-0 ahead yeah, lovely through ball for him, but he still had a lot to do, Charles, didn't he? Got inside his man, inside the box there. Run into the box. I thought, as I said on the commentary, I thought he was going to hit it earlier, Polyon, but, uh, oh, another chance here. Here's Nathaniel Walker. Oh, that, <laughs> this stuttering. Nathaniel George, I should say, I beg your pardon. And he's twisted and turned again. He's got the ball across. Polyon was there. He was hustled out of it. And uh, there's a challenge. He's gone down with Curry. Connor Manderson on loan from Portsmouth. 
couldn't do much about uh, either of the two goals. Maybe could have done a little bit better with the second, but the first one, the free kick from Tanner was exquisite. And here's Hammond. Last touch of the game from him as the referee blows his whistle. It's ended up here at Stonebridge Road with a scoreline, Epsley United 2, Eastbourne Bar and Neil. Thank you very much, Charles. Welcome back to our listeners on Listen Live and BBC Sounds who have been with the Squad Goals programme with the news that Gillingham have beaten Lincoln by two goals to nil away from home today. You just heard Epsley beating Eastbourne 2-0, uh, Dover losing at home.